Did you ever hear about all the conditions that the rock stars have in their contracts? That's the part of the contract they call the rider. You know, where they demand crazy things like just green M&Ms and Evian water to shave with? Well, I'm the guy that's got to take care of all that stuff, and that's not the half of it. They're the dressing rooms and tour buses in stock, but that's the easy part. It's the three squares a day we got to put out for the stagehands, talent, and hundreds of roadies that take up most of our time. That's breakfast, lunch, and one hell of a dinner for when all the big shots show up. You know, in spite of my four fully loaded traveling kitchens, and honestly, the greatest catering staff on the planet, it gets crazy out there. Don't believe me? You try finding Kobe beef in Milwaukee on only an hour's notice. So that's the mission, this is the crew, and I'm Bob, the guy in charge of fulfilling the rider. I worked several years with Marriott Hotels, chef, doing all that type of thing. Got into the typical catering, big weddings and all that stuff. And from that, it's gone on to all the superstars and everybody we dealt with. You know, we're all real tight. And uh, there is, even though we, we don't like to put out the hierarchy of people, there kind of is. But uh, when it comes down to it, I'm the red-headed stepchild. I started out as a chef. Then I started looking around and said, you know what? I think I want to be a bus driver, Bob. So he said, OK, <laughs> here's the bus keys. Well, uh, I am what they call a runner. So whenever they forgot, whatever they need, they call me or they send me to go get it. Yeah, Bob's my uncle, so I've grown up catering, doing little jobs for him all over. Hands down, the most important part of my job is making the artist happy, every aspect. We roll into the venue and typically uh, everyone's still sleeping. So I'll hook up the shore pass so I can shut the generators off. I can kind of go in there and read the room, kind of go, okay, we have a big room, we have a small room. I'll go and wake everybody up, get the coffee going, have that little meeting. Bob can tell them about the day, he'll tell them about what I've told him. Uh, we're in Chicago, great room, a lot of room. We can spread things out a little bit today. Uh, breakfast 7 a.m., lunch at noon, dinner at 5, break down 8 on the bus by 9.30, cocktailing. Okay? Do it. Oh, don't bust out and go take a shower without me telling you, okay? And don't forget about me, lads. I smelled like a dog last time. All right? Don't forget this <laughs> Look like one, too. Being consistent. Yeah, I, I don't like, like sleeping above him. <laughs> <laughs> right at that point, it's just go, go, go. We have to find out where we're putting the truck. I have to know if it's going to stay there all day because it depends on how we unload. Each city's different. For example, today, you know, it's five degrees, 20 degree wind chill factor. Those cases are cold. And then uh, when you're done, let's stack these. All right. Okay. And then you just start setting up tablecloths, um, bringing in all, all of the dishes, the sternals. You have to get that warm for the food to get in. Listen, we're bumping in each other. Everybody's doing too many different things. I need you watching the food buffet, okay? Um, Danny, just kind of float help out, and I need you helping on getting the dressing rooms done because I don't want to get screamed out about that. Okay? You need to help the kitchen. Okay? Every time there's something not in your hand, there's something you're not doing. I'm doing my best, Bob. I'm doing everything that I possibly can, man. Okay. Kevin's a good guy. He's got a lot to learn. The bread, good. All right, good. But it's not sliced. So Danny's got to slice it. But, you know, he fits in with everybody. He's been around us a while. He's comedy relief. He's stress relief. You know, I've probably had everybody on the crew ask me why Kevin still works for us and why I don't fire him. And to be honest, he cracks me up. Hey, hey, hang on a second. What are you doing? I'm ordering a place. It's plastic. Um, yeah, breakfast is a little bit slower. I think, you know, when people are getting up really early in the morning, they don't want to come eat a big meal. You see some people there, you know, wanting a big breakfast. It's healthy oil, so you know. Okay. Oh, okay, People freak out thinking it's butter or something like that. There you go. You're welcome. I get breakfast out, even though I'm three hours before lunch has to go, it's just finish one, you start the next. Breakfast, start lunch. Lunch is out, start dinner. It's, it, it's non-stop until from the second I walk off the bus to the second I walk out. Listen, I need you to go down and see uh, Stan at Northwest Meats. I need this by 4 o'clock, okay? I Bro. need that. Okay, thank you. Pick that up on the way, okay? No problem. All right, uh, so Northwest Meats, pork tenderloin, lamb rack. I need it by 4 o'clock, and you gotta go in the city. I need it by 4 o'clock, 4 one, I'm screwed. All right, Mod. See you later. I love the kitchen. 
I love the, the way we can transport everything in it. I've got everything I need at my fingertips. One thing goes wrong, I'm screwed. Whoa. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, I guess we just blew the house power. I'll go turn on the gen. There's always some sort of mechanical or physical mishap that just messes with me. Equipment does not travel well. Son of a I know everything I have in the kitchen. I know how it all works. I just don't know what I'm gonna have when I actually need it because everything changes. Well, I can do all, all here. here. If, if you, you wanna call stop, and see please. what you could do about the gen generator, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll get the generator. Don't worry. About it. All right, that's fine. This this will be fine. We'll get this shit done. Don't worry about it. So this is the thing, I've got most of what I need, but I always need stuff from Cat Kevin. And I need it, and I need it on time. Yeah, how you doing, man? I'm picking up the uh, fish order for Bob. All access uh, catering? All access? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, I go to the seafood place, and the order's not there, it's not ready. I call Jeff, and he's like, I thought I placed the order. I guess he didn't. Now I'm stuck waiting here, cooling my heels, and my day is already an hour behind. I got a lot to do today. Are you sure? What would I After lunch, that's the crunch time. Jeff and Alyssa are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Hopefully Kevin's back with the product they need, getting dinner ready. Artists are arriving, my girl's out the door greeting them, making sure everything's set with the room. Should we like leave a little note? Mr. Lip. <laughs> I love the ball action. I love your ball. Oh, I always let the girls write the menu board because they've got the nicest handwriting. But uh, spelling on the other hand. Did I spell cereal? S E R C. I mean, C-E-R-E-A-L. This is Pete Yoin's dressing room. One is flighty, one is flirty. So flighty and flirty, and that's my life. What is this? What are you making? Uh, that's seafood chowder. No, I said don't do seafood chowder. I said do anything else. She doesn't like seafood. You told me to flip it with the Saturday soup for today. No, I said flip it, meaning don't do it. I know better. I said I just had. Because when he gets pissed, he gets pissed. And uh, I, I know he's got a lot on his plate. No pun intended. How am I not supposed to know that? I don't know, Renee. Okay. All right, can we do something else? Sure, what the hell do you want to do? Make whatever soup you want. Mushroom? Fine, mushroom. There, you got mushroom. He specifically told me something different, and he falls back on, he sent me an email. He's not me, but you don't check it. Check what? My email? I weren't working all day, and I see you 10 times a day. Why don't you just tell me? Why bother with a damn email? I know it aggravates me when I do that, but it's my company. It's my ass on the line. You know, I got to deal with the clients. You don't. Looks like you got to deal with the clients. I got to deal with you. How is that? You know, I, I love Jeff. He does incredible work. But he's a miss already exploded. It's Kevin, all access. From where? All access catering. Come on, stand, you know me. We're yeah. supposed to be here at 1.30. What really screws us is that after lunchtime, if product's not here, if dress rooms aren't set, we're screwed. Everything on the writer has to be there. I've gone to four or five stores sometime, um, you know, trying to find some stuff. This is a woman to go out and find us a lazy. I don't know what it is. I don't even know where to start. No, no, no. It's pronounced Elize. It's a liquor. I get a call from Mike, the show promoter, and he's bringing big clients in right at 5 o'clock. I got to be on time. Traffic was a nightmare. The weather was bad. I just knew he wasn't going to be there in time. You know, that's when the heart rate goes and I'm ready to explode. Good afternoon, how you doing? Hey, you guys got any Elysee here? A what? Elysee. Hey, Lauren, you see Kevin? No. I'm trying to find this thing called Elysee. Have you ever heard of it or you know where I can find it? Elysee? Uh, Elise? Something like that? 
Yeah, you know, Bob, sometimes he tells me stuff. Uh, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. You know, I don't want to waste his time. I get out in the car. I figure I'm a big boy. I'm from New York. I can find it. It was like all set to, to have to change the whole thing and do different stuff. And I had, you know, a time set in my head when I had, had to make this change. I'm looking for something called Elysee, Elize. Uh, maybe, uh... Oh, you know what? That sounds right. Where, where, where can I find that? Alize. All right. Alize. It's something you drink. It must have been 30 seconds before I started cooking something else. He walked through the door. You know, he's ugly, but I was so happy to see that face. And start bringing in hot food. Hey guys, thank you. Hey, another great one. Fine, happy, everybody's happy. Off to Cleveland. Yeah. Oh, hey, you know our motto, get there when it's dark, leave when it's dark. I don't know where I was today. You guys can banter, I'm going to sleep. So you guys, <laughs> <laughs>